What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the LG Q7 Plus faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do is go to the settings here, then from the settings make sure you're in the general tab, then go down to the bottom, go to about phone, go to software info, and then on build number, tap that a bunch of times. Then you're going to need to put in your pin number, and then now you are in developer mode. So go back several times and you'll now see a new option here called developer options. So tap on developer options, then go down all the way to animations and you'll see that you have now the ability to change the animations on your device. Now by default they're all set at 1x but you can change these from 1x to 0.5x or off and you can even slow down the device if you wanted to, to 1.5x, 2x, 5x, and 10x. So obviously, in order to speed things up here, we'd have to either switch over to 0.5x or animation off. Let's first try 0.5x, and we're going to do this for window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Now another thing too that I want to make sure that you're aware of is that this is completely reversible and it does not void any sort of warranties or anything. This is simply a feature on the device that anyone can access, so you can always revert it, it's not going to do anything bad to the phone, just keep that in mind. So now with these animation speeds sped up, we can now see what impact that has on the performance of the phone. So you can see already that the animations in general are just a lot quicker here. Whether it's going to the camera app, going to the app tray, going to the messaging app, anything here you can see that the animations are cut down significantly so that that just makes your entire experience of using the device faster. Let's go back to the settings though and let's switch over to no animations to see what that looks like. I'm sure it's going to be a lot faster of course. So we'll go over to, here we go, animations and we'll switch that over to animation off animation off and animation off and you can see it is super quick now there are no animations anywhere so you're pretty much limited to the RAM and there's actually four gigabytes of RAM on this device so that's great so combining the high amount of RAM here along with no animations you're just gonna get great performance by turning those animations off so I think this is really awesome that you can do this and I think it's really great that you're given the flexibility of kind of configuring the device in the way that you want to so that everything can kind of be tailored to your specific needs and the way that you like to use your phone. Now if you really want to, you can also do the opposite. You can slow down the device. So let's go back to developer options. Let's go down to those animations again and let's do 10x on the animations. And you can see already with just doing that first animation, it's slowing down the other animations by a lot. And you can see even tapping the home button here, the animations are just ridiculously slow. So I'm sure this isn't something that you'd want to do to your device because it's pretty much unusable at this point with everything being so slow. But it is kind of a nice gimmick there, I guess. And if you really wanted to do this, then you're always able to. The only thing it doesn't really slow down is the keyboard, I guess, so that's good to see. But pretty much all other animations are slowed down here, so that's pretty wild. But we'll go back to the settings, and I think kind of the sweet spot is doing that 0.5x, because it's not quite as fast. I mean, you still get some animations there, and I do think it's a good thing to have animations just for the whole aesthetics of the device. So we'll do 0.5, uh, 0.5 and 0.5. So yeah, like I said, I think that's kind of the sweet spot doing it at 0.5 as you still get to see animations here, but still everything is sped up quite a bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to give me a like and check out my other videos on the LG Q7 Plus as I'm gonna be putting out a lot of them very soon. So this is Kevin here. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you want to buy this device, check out the link in the description. Thank you.